Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Seth and Beth Wedding Photography Podcast. How are you, babe? I'm awesome. How are you, babe? I love you. I love you. You turn the ringer, on, ringer off on that phone. I'm glad we're here together today. I am, babe. too. We're here in our gorgeous, gorgeous podcast studio here in Akron, Ohio. Technically, it's Richfield, but we love AK Rowdy. We, uh, we are husband and wife photography duo. We've been doing this a long time. Oh, my gosh. Um, what movie is that from? It's from Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, I think I, we saw that together. Crazy ass movie, Stanley Kubrick. I probably fell asleep. Vietnam, though. lots of killing. Mm. I digress. Mm. Um, we're not here to talk about that. You know why we're here, man? Tell me why. Well, we just came off an awesome weekend where we got to be a part of a tremendous experience, an incredible fundraiser with um, two awesome planners in Columbus, Michelle Tancred and Jennifer Drew from S. T R. I know when they do the the I can never keep the, the acronyms together. S T R events. Events. Uh, but the fundraiser was called A Thread of Hope. Mm-hmm. It was so great. Shall I go into it? Yeah. Just look up S T R's Instagram so we can tell we can talk about that. But while I go into this, so about uh, every couple times a year, Beth and I decide to donate our services. We really are in this game to get beautiful people, wonderful families beautiful photos. Um, I know it's weird to say, and maybe it sounds cliche that like, oh, you're obviously in this for money. Well, we have to pay for things in this world, <coughs> but we absolutely love working with amazing clients. And, and this is one of them. This was a, a mixing pot of a lot of incredibly amazing and astounding people all put behind one cause. So the foundation is called a thread of hope. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. No, I think the foundation is called <coughs> oh, oh. Sam's Fans. Sam's and Fans. And the event is called A Thread of Hope. Thank you, Beth. You're welcome. The event that we uh, donated our services to is a celebration and a fundraiser for Sam's Fans. Is that okay, right? so there's this beautiful woman's boutique in Columbus. Called Thread. Called Thread. There's one... That I go to the most, it's on Grandview Avenue next to the, a the Avenue in downtown Grandview down by Stoffs and Jenny's. And how would you describe it? Definitely a boutique women's clothier. Oh, wow. You hear I did that? Um, they do, they it's have- It's like the cutest clothes you've ever seen ever, ever, ever. Like ever. when you see those cute Instagram feeds of people wearing the cutest clothes you've ever seen, you yeah. just go to like this one store and that's where you get it. Okay. So it's like, that's that's what, okay. So, but anyway, so the owner- Miranda. Her, her best friend- Nikki. Oh, this, this is like sad. This is like, this yes. is everyone's worst nightmare if you have a kid, right? Mm -hmm. um, so Nikki's- baby well, child um um had cancer uh -huh. and lost her life to cancer that's right however while uh getting treated she found a lot of happiness and joy with a program where what do they call it musical music therapy music therapy so, so you have occupational therapy you have physical, physical therapy this music is, therapy this is music therapy so um, uh, her daughter just lit up when people would come into her, I guess, obviously that sort of a desolate hospital room and bring a guitar, a ukulele, a piano or whatever. Even like those rain sticks. I saw like rain sticks. There's like, there's so many different musical instruments out there that can be soothing and provide, but you know, it's all about whoever is receiving the music therapy it's like what they connect to. So like um, in the story, through through the story, we learned that like everyone's different, what they connect to and what music, like just like how you like complete different music than I do. Yes. You like screaming death metal. I like like 90s country or like coffee shop music. So like what would bring us happiness is different. Is different. I digress. So this gal, um, Nikki, the mom just really loved the idea of this music therapy and started a foundation to get music therapy into more places. So, and it was Miranda too. Miranda said like, like, you know, after Sam passed away, she was like, listen, like if, if my store works out, if thread works out, dang it, 
we're going to do something in honor of of Sam. And so that's how they created the foundation. And now they're five years into having, yep, yep. what would you call that? Like a gala? Like that's what yeah, I, would, um, I, I would just call it a fundraising event. Yeah. Nikki, Nikki and Miranda, if you see this podcast and we're totally butchering a story, just, just like, oh my gosh, just like let please us know. like comment below. So, like, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> you yeah. guys suck. No, but listen, <laughs> that's not the point of it. Like, um, we were very new to this. I mean, we were very new. We're in we're incredibly busy. We're very productive in October. So like this, this happened upon us. And I would say that I wish I would have known more about it going in. However, it was an astounding fundraising event. Because it's not um, a normal fundraising event, Seth. It's not like where like there's a silent auction and you have dinner and then you get some drinks and then you go home. It's, yeah. it's different than that. So because Thread is so awesome in, in what they do, that you ha there is a fashion presentation at the end. And that's the first time Seth and I have ever photographed a fashion presentation like that, like a fashion show. Mm -hmm. And wow. Let me set the scene. So 500 amazingly dressed people show up. There's tons of booze, watershed distillery, obviously Brew donates. Dog, Brew water, yeah, all of the... It's very, very fancy and beautiful. Uh, we used our Giphy photo booth that we bring in for weddings, which is a smash hit. And uh, on the podcast, I can put some examples of the gifts. But regardless, people What's were having... What's the name of the venue? I don't remember. It was at the Dublin. Exchange. The Exchange in at, Dublin. At, yeah, Bridgewater. Yeah, the Exchange in Dublin. It's beautiful. And so they did have a silent auction, which was wonderful. Beautiful scene. Um, but they showed, which we're in love with, they showed a story of one of the music therapist and sort of her journey into like going into children's and of course gosh it's tough you know you see these kids who have it much much more difficult than us in life and how they respond to music therapy and sure enough so my, i mean obviously my favorite part of the evening is just like they do this where like they have like a thermometer right beth what did they call yeah, that wait i wrote it down so we would know that was called is it called a heart thermometer uh -huh. basically you know miranda gets up there and they just start saying listen for every $45 or $75 you donate that 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 is a ukulele that someone can use to help a kid and I guess if the kid if the kid like attaches to the music they hand them they hand the cancer kid a ukulele and so next thing you know it's like oh that really counts so they basically have like this thermometer and you can donate oh my god donations are so easy now they do the app and right. it's just like just for, just take my money, right? And uh, and then they congratulate big donors, and then like the, I think it wasn't the jewelry guy. Uh, what's his name? DC Johnson. He, he just throws five grand like it's nothing at this project. Their goal was thirty thousand, and the story goes, I'm talking thirty thousand. Like they're it was trying actually twenty five. Yeah, and so at that, the last second, they're like, maybe we should change it. And make it yeah, 30. so like they were nervous even trying to make it twenty five or thirty thousand. They hit thirty thousand. It must have took about seven minutes. I mean, you got a room full of people who really care. Of course, they hit you with the media of like the cancer kids and their ukuleles. Is like, yes, yeah, the just children please. with cancer. What, what what do I call it? Cancer kids? Yeah, that's it's not what you children say. Children with, with cancer. cancer. Sorry, I mean sorry. Um, and um, anyway, so um, but yeah, they show the video and you're just like so enticed. Meanwhile, like. Oh, you're forgetting about the fireworks on stage. Well, some DJs are doing this now at weddings. They have these boxes. And out of the top, so they sit on the ground, and out of the top, like, fl sparks fly out upwards of a dozen feet in the air. But the weird part is, which I haven't figured out. I have a PhD in chemistry. I can't figure this out, Beth. <laughs> they are not hot. They're not. Glowing, glowing light. They're fireworks. Light. I'll show pictures. In that the, aren't in the hot. Point. It's fireworks that you can put your hand right in. I don't understand. They definitely smoke up the top. And meanwhile, I'm thinking, they're going to burn this place down. So but. as the more people would donate, the fireworks grew taller, taller and, and taller, taller, taller and taller. And then once they hit their goal, it was like, ah. So they hit their $30,000 goal at this little like rally. And they said that they hit that in a matter of minutes. That was the mo that was the amount of money they raised. Like, was it all of the first couple years? I mean, it was like they smashed all their records. And I'm like, next year this should be like fifty or sixty thousand. So, so in easy. the five years that this fundraiser has been going on, foundation, right? This this found yep. Yeah, they have been able to raise a quarter of a million dollars. Oh, I didn't know that. And they have established a music therapy program in every single children's hospital in Ohio. Oh. And now they're going outside of Ohio and they're going to establish music therapy programs outside in children's hospitals. So they had a speaker that came who is a music therapist in the Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And this music 
therapist, um, became a therapist when she herself had childhood cancer. She was a child with cancer and connected and felt like she really says that on her darkest days, it was the music therapy program that mm-hmm. helped her through. So when she was at OU, she was like, well, what what should I be someday? And, and she was like talking about like, what she's most passionate about. And she's like, it's music therapy. And so now she's a music therapist. And Seth, like the whole time she was talking, I wasn't even paying attention. And then at some point I realized she lost her leg to cancer. Oh yeah, this is a Sarah gal. I, she was up there and I was just like, oh, that's so nice that she had can't. Okay. And then she was able to, and then I was like, oh my gosh. She lost her leg. They had to amputate her leg because the cancer was in her bones. Mm -hmm. And so in order for her to survive, they had to amputate her leg. And music therapy helped her throughout that, all of that, years of of everything that she went through. And so now she's a music therapist in um, Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And wow, like that being a part of that day was so special and something that I'll I'll never be able to forget. It was just so amazing. Yeah, so Michelle from STR Events contacted us about doing this and we agreed very early on and it wasn't until it started ramping up. You know, we have tons of weddings and shoots and so it wasn't until we started ramping up that I was learning what actually we got into and um, I would pray they allow us to donate our services every year. I hope so. Because it was just astounding. The positivity, the vibe uh, was simply incredible. Uh, So some other amazing vendors that were there, of course. And Seth, I I love the idea how we are able to use our, like we, you and I have been given a gift of. Handsomeness. (laughs) Sexiness. Oh gosh. So when he does it, I don't even know. I don't know. I'm talking about you. Oh. The second one. (laughs) Um, Um, But anyway, so I love the idea of like using our server to help people, to help kids and families that we'll never meet, that we'll never see. But knowing that like this small little thing, this, this, what we've done does help in the future and for kids in the future. So uh, it was an all-star lineup of vendors. And I'd like to plug some of them and just describe how amazing they are. Obviously, Michelle from STR Events is incredible. And Jennifer Drew. Jennifer Drew, of course. We've worked with them with weddings. And um, Beth and I thought about doing a whole podcast about like recommendations we have for like um, not so much people, but just in general, like when you hire a planner, this is what you look for. This is what we've seen in 200 weddings. And we have some advice. But regardless, of course, we walk in. And the main man, the best damn DJ in the land, which is, I came up with that, Beth. He hasn't, he hasn't quite <laughs> caught, caught on to it yet. Mike Salone, who is DJ Access. He's, his pearly whites, you walk in and there he is. I mean, guys, we're, we're great, great friends with this kid. He's incredible. He's, I don't know who he's not he's DJ He's a for. grown man. He's not a kid. Well, he, he's, got a, he's got a baby face. He knows that. Oh, stop We're going to have him on the podcast in two weeks, Beth, by the way. Oh. Um, but So he's the DJ for the Buckeye Games. He was the DJ for the Blue Jackets. He's the DJ for the crew. Um, he's the DJ at our Christmas parties. He's a DJ at our... <laughs> and tons of weddings we've done. If you ask us who our recommendation for a DJ is, he's the guy. He's incredible. He's like a real DJ. He's yeah, not so, like, oh, I'm going to like push his button so we do go to and weddings. then like go to the bar and get a Look, Coke. You get what you pay for, guys. If, you, if you're if you hiring a five, six, seven hundred dollar uh, DJ, you're probably going to get a guy with a MacBook who's going to press play in iTunes and pump it through a couple photos. And his mic not his microphone Speaker might not work. Oh, photos. What am I saying? What am I saying? I, I was looking at our albums, our beautiful <laughs> albums. I can get this out of my so I say. But yeah, speakers. What am I saying? I'm an idiot. Um, yeah. So they're going to press play and play you a song. And if the dance floor clears out, that song is going to play until the next song comes on. Uh, Mike Salone, DJ Access. Um, he, he sort of brings this space station headquarters with him, like of the double turntables with like 7,000 buttons. Then there's a whole light show that goes on with it. So like the lights of your wedding are like popping and jamming. And then he's mixing in songs I didn't know had anything to do with each I other. I didn't know he partnered with that bass guy. So he did something different that I've never seen before. Yeah, so that guy, um, what's his name again? Look at me. 
know. I've met him a couple times, but he's in he's he, nice guy. He's in a lot of different bands. He's amazing at bass, but they have a little a little gig together where it's called Access and Bass, where Mike DJ Access plays like a hip hop song to get the crowd, and then this guy on bass just like starts soloing off it. it gives it's it quite like a amazing. jazzy hip hop feel, yeah. yeah. But Mike's incredible. He he splices together these songs that you don't even know could possibly go together. I don't get it. But um, he's incredible, and um, he does like 30, 40, 50 weddings a year. He's insane. Hire him. He's the best. Um, so Mike was there. Yeah. And then the makeup artist who we like. Muka. M- How do you spell that again? M-U-K-H-A. You know down- where they are? They're, they're located right by that Simply Rolled on High Street. Oh, okay. Incredible makeup artists. They were taking care of all the models. They probably had at least a dozen models. It was amazing. All shapes and sizes of these gals, and I had and never, ages, ages. I had never been a part of anything like. If you told me I'm going to a fashion show, I'd be like, yeah, not for me. Um, I'll, however, I'm into fashion, but to see one live, you think you're into fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a quick fan poll. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, th- big thumb up for <laughs> SK in this stunning. <laughs> what would you call? That? Um, this is like a, a, a handkerchief this shirt. Is, this is more of a 1970s like um, drapes. And they made <laughs> yeah. me a shirt out of it. Regardless, <laughs> um, it's so powerful. Like I didn't know this would really be the crescendo of the evening. After they raised all the money and the silent auctions are done, they dim the lights. DJ Access plays all these amazing Queen songs, and the, the fashion shows like to the Queen songs. So it's like choreographed. Well, kind of. The gals the models, walk out. The models walk out. I mean, they, they put their chin up and look like a complete freaking badass. The place is going bonkers. It's incredible. I'll put photos up. Yeah, they're so good that when they like look at you and they kind of look like, I'm a badass. I'm a badass. You're like, you are. You a are badass. a badass. And they're all wearing, of course, clothing from Thread. And so. Um, Super cute. Um, who else? Well, I, so I've seen this furniture before, but I didn't know who it was. Yeah, right. It's this, it's like handcrafted furniture yeah. from columbus maybe johnstown or something what's the name of it again trove trove t-r-o-v-e I've almost been there now beth and i have a great uh, a great love of a columbus company called elm and iron we're dear friends with the owner and our whole house is furnished with it but trove is cool too they're, they're very similar oh, some cool stuff some cool stuff but how don't even don't they're not cooler than <laughs> oh, oh stop. <laughs> so now i'm in now i'm in oh, a cool great. stuff war trove i love you <laughs> I, I got plenty of love for plenty but um I don't know. elm and iron's a jam too but it anyway. was great yeah, it, it was, was great. great. I'm glad we did it. And um, yeah, like I can't wait for next year. And if you guys like I, it is, it is a great experience to be a part of. Like if anybody wanted to go to this next year, not only is it like Cameron Mitchell, delicious food with the best cocktails, but there's like a fashion show. There's like this ice luge Okay, where like they're pouring champagne down like a this like ice sculpture that had like gears inside. Oh, sorry, actually, yeah. had like gears inside of the ice sculpture that like splashed out into. Anyway, that was that was cool. So it was really fun to see like people really opening up their the app on their phone and their wallets and just like instantly donating. And it was one hundred percent of the <laughs> funds goes to this. Everything else is is just donated from awesome people and awesome vendors. Yeah. So um, we got to reach a lot of interesting people and just get ourselves out. We do a couple of these a year. I've done some, um, it's not make a wish, it's called wish upon a wedding. I've done a couple of those. That's awesome too. Where it's very rewarding. And obviously the, the gigs that we do for completely free are some of the most rewarding ones because the passion behind the projects that we're involved with. I'm so. just looking at the time because we have a phone call at 1.30. What time is it now? One seventeen. Great. Well, that's a great way to finish up, Beth. Is that's why I keep looking. I'm not trying to be rude. I may be like, mm, what else I got going on? Oh, we're so busy. Oh, we're just too busy for all of this. <laughs> like, um, I just got to make sure. But anyway, it. as always, folks, um, so the takeaways, if you want to visit Sam's fans, the foundation, check it out thread a is, thread of hope is is the um the fundraiser event. it's held in the fall um and thread miranda and thread the I really guys wish thre- i had <laughs> my yes. thread necklace on there is a pretty good story so this is not my thread necklace this is j crew but um 
uh, Seth and I got in an argument. We argue sometimes. And we got in this argument and um, it, Seth. Like, well, it's hard to shop for a woman, guys. You know this. Like, I tried buying her a pair of shoes once, but come on. I mean, you just got to try it on. She, if you A purse, I don't know, guys, if, you're, if your gals do this, or gals, if you do this, this woman here, I don't think it's that very crazy, but, like, we'll go purse shopping, which, of course, I love Beth. This woman will take everything out of one purse, put it in another purse, and then try the purse on, and then she walks around in the mirror. Now, I guess it all makes sense because it's all very— All at the store. <laughs> all at the store makes— <laughs> so like shopping for and then her I take everything on that person then i put it in another purse and then i walk around so i've, that I've learned on. over 20 years is like shopping for her is like i'll buy her something she'll be like oh this is so nice look at gift receipt can i have to get this get this back so um anyway but but but, but we got in this argument and, and at thread there's this beautiful handmade jewelry made by i don't know who there's artists the, the artist names are right there yeah and um they basically like crack open geode rocks geodes and like put gold around them and make necklaces rings bracelets um all this stuff and beth showed some interest in it and so well our oldest son's name's geo, geo so loves geodes, so so we got in this argument. I'm like, all right, I'm leaving. Like I had errands. I'm leaving. I'm just leaving this house. We just need like time away from Some each space. other. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to show this woman what the, who the hell she is dealing with. <laughs> I will show her. I'm driving a thread and spending too much money on something I probably can't afford. <laughs> it's not too much money, but it's just a, a wonderful piece of jewelry. I got her this big, beautiful necklace. And then for they, Christmas, he got me the bracelet too. Oh but both gosh. pieces were left in Mexico, in Mexico. at uh, our friend's Mexican resort, which um, we're going back to very soon. So um, I'm not. He is. So he'll bring it back for me. So, yeah. But so I was anyway. like, I can't believe I'm going to a thread event and I don't you even wear have your stuff. next year, babe. We're going to have to up. save. Oh, I'm going to I'm getting a whole outfit, a whole outfit. I'm going to be thread threaded threaded. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I Love hope you someone, all. I hope someone watches this. Um, if you're involved in Thread, let us know. Or even, you know, like the idea is for all of us to use our talents, whatever our talent Maybe is. Maybe that's why we're doing this, right? For whatever your talent is, just to give back to the world. Like that. And I'm not here to, like, you know, oh my God, who is? Like, we, we should be doing this more, I even feel. Yes. But um, we just, it's just paying forward, just, just helping the world in whatever way that we can. Yep. stewardship oh i believe that's the term stewardship thank you for joining us especially if you're on our youtube page um follow us on instagram at seth and beth photo and uh on facebook we're facebook.com slash seth and beth and seth and which uh -huh. is going to change because we're going to be rebranding here in the next uh six eight months i hope new name new look and uh, more offerings video and all this stuff so same us New name, same us. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye, Thanks. Guys.